Good morning, friends, and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to this side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle. Now stretch your airplane wings out in front of you and take them up over your head. Let's stretch on this side, over on the other side. One last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. We have three things to do before we get started. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? Boom, 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 boom. And now we're going to move on to the date. Right up here, we have the month. What's the month? September. Today is September 28th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was September 27th, and today is September 28th. And right up here we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it's 2021, but you can also say 2021. Let's see how many days are left in the month of September. I don't even think we need to warm up our counting fingers because we don't have very much counting to do. Will you count with me? After today, we only have one, two. Two more days left in the month of September. As you can see, the month is almost over, only two days left, so I'm going to sing the 12 months of the year song. Listen carefully for the month that comes after September. Maybe you know the words to this song. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear that? October will be here soon. We have two more days left in September, and then on Friday will be the first day of October. Now let's sing the Days of the Week song. So hold up seven fingers like this, and sing along if you know the words. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and we're going to go over the days together. Listen for the sound that the day starts with. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is t Tuesday. Tomorrow will be w Wednesday. Let's sing today's Tuesday together. It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? Fall or autumn. I know that it's autumn at my house because the mornings are a little chillier and I see some colorful leaves on the ground. 
Do you notice any signs of autumn at your house? Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together, and then we can share the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's another mostly sunny day outside with a few puffy white clouds in the sky. Just like yesterday, the morning is a little bit cool, but it's supposed to warm up later. So that's why my temperature chart is on orange. What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter of the week. So yesterday, we learned a new uppercase letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? That's right. This letter says D, D. What is this letter called? D. This is a capital or uppercase D. D says D. Now it's time to guess what I have inside of the letter box. Inside of this box, I have a picture of something that starts with the letter D, D. I'll give you a few clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This creature is extinct. So that means that it's not here on our planet anymore. But this creature did live on our planet over 65 million years ago, and they were huge. Hmm, what are those creatures called that are now extinct? Let's take a look. A dinosaur. So a dinosaur is a creature that lived on our planet over 65 million years ago. Dinosaur starts with the letter D. D. This is how you write an uppercase D. D. One more time. And here is the double digit number of the week. Friends, do you remember what number this is? 18. When you write the number 18, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? One. After you write the number one, you write this number. Will you show me with your fingers? Eight. One, eight. Eighteen. Let's count the number 18 together using the large bead frame. Today we're going to count to the number 18 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 110, eight units, 18. We have one more thing to count today before we move on to the sign of the week. So I have some petals from a marigold flower. The inner circle of the marigold has smaller orange petals and then around the outside were larger maroon colored petals. And I made two rows of nine. So we should have 18, but let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 petals from a marigold flower. Yesterday, I showed you how to say autumn in sign language, like this. Autumn. You try. Autumn. 
Now that fall is here, my outdoor activities have changed from swimming and gardening to apple picking and raking up leaves. Most of the trees on my homestead are evergreen, which means that their needles stay green and don't fall to the ground, even when it's cold out. But I do have a few deciduous trees, like maples and oaks, and when the colorful leaves have fallen to the ground, we rake them up into piles. After my kids jump in the leaf pile, we use the leaves as mulch in the garden. Another favorite fall activity is apple picking. The apple trees in our orchard are still young and don't produce fruit yet, but we have a few older apple trees on the property. We use those apples to make applesauce, cider, and other sweet treats. But today we're going to use apples for another reason. Let's go. For today's work, we are going to be doing some apple printing. So I have a piece of paper where we're going to be doing our prints. I have a few paint brushes and some paint. And then I have this apple, which I cut in half. This is something that you can do independently using a cutting board and a child-friendly knife. So I took my apple with the stem facing up and then I took my knife and I cut across horizontally, so the long way. And when I opened it up, you can see the star prints inside. They're going to look really nice when we add some paint and then use them on the paper as stamps. So let's get started. First, I'm going to use some pink paint. I'm going to take my paintbrush and just paint all over this apple. You can also put some paint on a plate and then dip the apple into the paint instead of spreading it around using a paintbrush, but it's up to you. All right, so this apple half is completely covered with pink paint. I'm going to press it down on my paper Pick it up and look at this. I have an apple print. Let's do another one using the purple paint for the other half of the apple. Get my paintbrush in, paint all around the apple. There we go. Press it down and lift up. Ooh, this one made a different print. Look at that one. It's so interesting. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I have a song to share with you all about apples, and it goes like this. Way up in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, were they good. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go, so let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.